I, I didn't start a new company right now because we kind of merge together with a, so there was this digital agency that they were building like web and, uh, and mobile. And I had my own company on the video market. So we were produ a video production company focusing on branded content and storytelling, okay? So we kind of merged this company with this company. We merged them. But we decided to go for a new market. Why? Because this company was going and, uh, you know, the big agencies in Brazil, they are very profitable because they make 20% of everything the, the clients spend on advertisement. So imagine they have a big client that spend like 10, uh, 100 million reais per, per year. They make as a profitability 20 million just because they choose to, to put the money here. It's like stupid, right? But that's the way it works. So this agency used to work for this, the, this big agencies, okay? So it was, let's say, a, a production house of, uh, of technology, okay? So they used to work for these agencies. Right now, we position ourselves to be a digital agency and solve our clients' problems with technology, okay? So it's a different story now. And we have the strength of storytelling and we have the strength of branded content. Because what I taught uh, uh, from you about giving value as a person is what I, taught, is what I tell people the companies, you know, as a company, you should give value before you ask people to buy your product, okay? So you give value first, you ask them to buy later, okay? That's, you know, look how many Mac Airs are here, okay? Because they give value first. But now, not only you give value as a product, you give value as a content, and that's what we're doing, okay? So what I did was, 60 days ago, after we merged, because I sold the company like 90 days ago and I merged with this new company 60 days ago, okay? So it's very new. I got really deep into it. So I, I talked with my, my colleagues, my partners in the other companies, even with the people that are working with me on Hands On TV, and I told them, hey, listen, I'm going to, you know, go deep into Puro Digital. So I went deep to Puro Digital. It was one week of, you know, thinking about our vision, thinking about how we're gonna position. And then the other, the other weeks, I went to clients. So I start visiting people, visiting people. So I visit, I decided to visit in like per week, at least 15 companies. And that's what I did, 15 companies, but different companies. Why? Because I wanted to see which, which market and what kind of the companies I should approach first. And then after I grow, I can approach like the 500 fortune. But before, I might not approach only of them. So I approach like HP in Brazil, I approach SAP in Brazil, I approach, but I also approach it, which by the way, I close a big contract, like more than a million reais contract, with a company that is like a franchisee company, okay? So I approached that company, I approached SAP, I didn't close deal with SAP, HP, or Oracle, or blah, 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 because they have like worldwide, worldwide uh, agencies and stuff. So I understood that I could not go for that market right now. I'm not gonna spend my fucking energy on that right now, right? I wanna have their accounts, because they have big money. But first of all, I understood that I need to uh, accomplish this other market. So now that I understand that, now that we close in like 45 days, we close three contracts, okay? It's not bad at all, okay? Three, contra three new contracts, okay? So they have the monthly fee, and then if we do something else, we also receive the money, okay? We start uh, having these companies. Now what we do, we go for other companies like them. And then I grow. But it's, it's as a service, it's B2B, so we work as a service, okay? It's not something that it's, it has a scale agenda like the startups for B2C, okay? But that's what I did in these uh, this special companies. For the restaurants, when I went, uh, when I became part of the restaurant, we already had, I invested in the restaurant and became part of it, we already had 21 restaurants. We closed to, why? Because for me now, is like what we stop doing right now. So. Usually for me, like, 
Where are you losing money? Why are you losing money there? Shall we close this restaurant and open three others in places that will, you know, have our feet or not? So we saw 21 restaurants and those two were in regions that have an audience different from the others. So we, we even have bad restaurants in places that have good, good audiences. But then the problem was different, so we kept them. But we closed those two, and then we closed two, so 21 to 19, and now we have 33. Okay? So when you think about grow, I think you need to understand what really fits, uh, how your product really fits into the market, and go for that. So it's very different. Like, one is B2B. I just, like, I call people every day. I go visit people, and the traffic in Sao Paulo is horrible. So I go there, I close deals, I make money, and then I grow. Because then I have tested my market. And uh, the same thing is the same, like, let's say, thought, but operates in a different way.